Hello, I am Tony Salto, and today for our mojitos and taco party, I will be showing you how to make guacamole and pico de gallo. We will start off with the uh, guacamole. I already have a little bit of guacamole already pre-diced, but I will show you a quick way to do that dicing. You take your knife, go ahead and cut it right down the middle, and you slide up against the pit. Just pull it right off, and with your knife, go ahead and stab the pit and take it up. Take your knife and your half avocado and very gently slide down and just do the other way, vertical, same way. You take your spoon, very simply, ride your spoon up against the skin of the avocado and just slide it out. Now we take a fork and we start muddling this. Don't be afraid to get a little rough with the avocado. Now it's okay to not completely muddle down the avocado. I really like nice big chunks of avocado on my guacamole. Now you take about half a teaspoon of salt and go ahead and loosely garnish it. Take a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. I take the sides of a jalapeno. In order to avoid the spiciness, I keep the seeds intact. Now once like this, you do a rough chop. You sort of want it to be smaller pieces, so you do somewhat a fine dice. Now we take about half a tablespoon of diced red onion and we add that to our avocado mix as well. Then we add our lime. I take about two fresh green limes, go ahead and cut them right down the middle, and we use our Pottery Barn lime squeezer. We just go ahead and stir this up and within seconds our guacamole is pretty much ready. And now for another key ingredient in our mojitos and tacos party our pico de gallo. Now remember folks, Mexican food doesn't have to be too complicated as long as you have fresh local ingredients. So to our freshly cut red tomatoes, we're gonna add some chopped red onions, a little bit of fresh jalapeno, a little bit of salt and pepper, and finish it up with fresh lime juice. Go ahead and give it a little stir. The finishing touch is our cilantro for garnish. One last stir. There we have it, pico de gallo. And now that we've finished our pico de gallo, we'll take our pico and our fresh guacamole, and we're gonna use those for our tacos, our quesadillas, with some chips to enjoy in our mojito and taco party.